Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, and welcome once again. I trust all of us are doing well. Today, quickly, we are going to be making a simple short dress with a Peter Pan collar, just as it is appearing on the screen. Okay. I have here almost three yards of this fabric. It's not up to three, but the difference is not much. I think it's about five or four inches less than three yards. Okay, we're going to be using it, but if you have two yards, it's, it can still be okay for you. I'm going to be using this for today's tutorial. Okay. I'll be cutting both the front and the back at the same time. So I'll be folding into four places. If you like, you can make yours a straight cut or you can make yours an A line. I have a zipper allowance of one and a half inches here. So first I'll measure my shoulder, 16 inches. Three inches for shoulder slope and one inch here. Arm hole is eight and a half inches. Shoulder to bust is 11 inches. I'll be marking 11 and a half inches. Shoulder to waist is 17 inches. Waist to hip is 9 inches. So this is shoulder to bust, shoulder to waist, shoulder to hip. And then the length of my gown is 44 inches. Whatever I have left, I will use it for food. Okay. Now I will place my bust measurement, my waist measurement, and then my hip measurement. Bust measurement, 10.25, that's 10 and quarter. Ease of two inches, seam allowance of one and a half inches. Waist measurement 8.75. Ease of two inches, seam allowance of one and a half inches. Hip 46 into 4 is 11.5. This is the, the first measurements are for fitted. That's why I added ease to each of them. Ease two inches, allowance of one and a half inches. Okay. So I'll make the connections. Then from this hip measurement, I'll just open it up. This is for straight cut, please. But if you are making an A line, you know it is going this way. You just capture the bust and then keep opening it wider. But this is an A line. I'll also put my armhole curve. And then cut. Next will be to just put the neck width and neck depth. So 
So for the front, I'm using my measurement is starting from here, please. For the front, I'm using neck depth of four inches and width of three inches. That's for the front. Then for the back, one inch. I hope you get it. This is for the back and this is for the front. I'll remove that on the back first. Okay. Next, we need to cut lining. If you are using lining, if not, you start your joining. But I'll be using lining for this dress. So I will go ahead and cut the lining and line accordingly. I hope you know how to line. I'm going to be starting from this lower part. This is my notch. This is the actual length I'm working with. This other one is going to be folded inwards. Okay. All right. So I've cut the lining. I've also lined properly. I started, like I said, from the lower part to line. And then as for the neck, I didn't have to turn it because we're going to be putting color around it. Okay. So the next thing will be to measure the circumference of this neck. Okay. I notched my zipper allowance. I hope you see it. I notched my zipper allowance at the two back panels. So my measurement for the circumference of the neck is starting from here, not from this beginning. It's starting from this notch, round to the other notch. Mine is 20. I'll be using this dull face satin to cut. The color is going to be a straight color. 20. So if I am to notch the midpoint, it means I have on each side 10. I hope it's clear enough. I have on each side 10. Okay, because it's going to be two separate colors. All right. So the circumference of my neck is 20 inches. And since our color is going to be two, one on each side, I'll be dividing the 20 by two, which is 10. And then I'll add three more inches to the 10, making it 13. Since our satin is on fold, I'll measure six and a half inches, which is here. The length of my collar, I'll use four inches. That is the marking you have here. And then here at the midpoint of this fold, I took away half an inch. I want to introduce a slight curve here. This is the place that is going to be at the neckline. This is the lower part of the collar. So I removed half an inch here. I will connect it to this tip. And then I'm going to slant this upper part. Remember, I added three more inches to my 10 inches to make it 13. That is 6.5 here. I will now remove, say, like one inch and this upper part. And then drag it to connect to here. So it's going to give you a shape like this. I hope you get it.
So you should have something like this. I'm going to cut the second one using this one. So here I now have four of it. One and each corresponding lining. I hope you see it. The lower part is 13 inches and this place is less than 13 inches 11 inches okay but the lower part this is the place i'm going to be attaching at the neck line i hope you get that so i'll go to the machine and sew from here this way and then this way then turn it inside out and close it up and here is the basic sleeve i'll be using this to turn the lower side up so at the end of the day it's going to be this way okay i'll also go to the machine attach it this way i will attach from the wrong side open it up top stitch and then bring it to the right side okay so i've made the stitch like we said this is a straight collar okay and then i attached it around the neckline starting from the zipper allowance i hope you see it i didn't start from the beginning i hope you see it okay i attached on the wrong side i will now open it up top stitch here so that it will now fall on the right side and then i'll join the two back together and insert zip and this is the sleeve okay i attached also from the wrong side top stitched as you can see and then brought it over to the right side so i will also close this up using the round sleeve measurement and attach at the body of the dress and then we are so done okay i've attached the sleeve and also inserted the zip same goes for the pocket and we have come to the end of today's tutorial please in attaching your collar you make sure that one sits on top of the other so that the roughness underneath does not show if it doesn't sit this roughness will then be exposed so you make sure that one of the two colors sits on top of each other okay people so this is it this is the end result of our tutorial and I hope you see the fitting so lovely. You see the back, you can do yours with your belt. You can do yours without the belt and also the collar. Give us your thumbs up. Don't also forget to share our videos. If you are yet to subscribe, please don't leave without subscribing and tapping on the notification bell. Till we meet in my next tutorial. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Take very good care of yourself. And be kind to people around you. Especially those who have no way of repaying you back. See you in my next video. Bye.